Hey everybody, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. On this episode, we're gonna go damn well hog wild. Basically, the way this episode works is, if you've never played the game before or any of the sequels, is you'll immediately begin um, by jumping onto um, a hog. And in this in this game, what you need to do is you need to um, basically maneuver your way through um, a set gauntlet where you have you can't stop moving. But you move left, right, or jump accordingly. You still need to try and smash all the boxes because you can actually get a gem in this level for doing so. So, um, I might not be able to explain exactly how to do it as you go. So, just try and follow my instructions. Like, watch the video if you're playing along by chance. And, um, just play it by ear, really. And just use your instincts and your reflexes if you can. <laughs> he so looks like he's about to rape the fucking pig. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Oh, and the music here is kick ass as well. The, the hog in this game was really stiff, I think, compared to animals in Crash 2 and 3. I'm after missing the box, so. Start again! You need to get a full, complete run just to um, get the gem, so. Just because I have so much fun with this, I don't really um, care trying once or twice. <laughs> oh, Crash. Just, I can never get sick of that look. He just looks so evil doing it. He definitely has some evil intentions for the poor hog. That, see, that's why I don't like the hog being so stiff. It's easy to miss boxes. I just wish I could tell you guys in advance how to go, but it's really just a, a lot of this is instinct. Instinct and reflexes. But I think we've all the boxes so far, so it's going well. Hug the right, hug the left. Oh, I got three of those. Hug the right. Jump over the hog! Go under the hog! Jump the hog! I think this one you go hug the right. Yes. So I'm just hoping now that I got the gem. I don't know if I got all three of those boxes that time. Oh, I did. That's sweet. Gotta love hog world. Woo! And then we got the gem. It saves and pressure's off. Five out of 32 levels. And we're going back to the map screen. Hmm. Actually, I had so much fun. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. If you want, you just skip to the next video. But I'm just going to do this again because I'm having so much fun with it. Woohoo! See, we're going to mess around this time a little bit. Because I don't care about the boxes now. So, jump! 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 Whoop, they stuck the music a bit. Not too bad for someone not trying to get the boxes. Oh, I get an extra life! Oh, yeah! Give me my extra life! Ah, screw it up, I'll take the rest there. Yeah, life! I need it so badly! Well, I guess that makes up for the one I... No, I didn't lose the life by resetting the level. It's just, I hate when they pile up boxes like that. Because sometimes you can actually, like, get bang into them, but go in at the wrong angle. So you don't actually get the box. That's pretty irritating. I wonder when he will actually watch you do this twice. Even three times, considering I failed the first time. Woohoo! I don't think it could be Aris animating anything in there, so I just sort of blocked off the exit. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, okay, that gets serious. Um, I guess next time we'll begin exploring the native fortress. Oh, that's not a, that's a grand, that's an okay level, but I prefer Hogwild. See you all next time!